What's going on everybody? David here from Blucas Videos and Collectibles and today I got a brand new video for y'all and this time it's another toy haul video and this time all these figures are not from one spot like I normally would do especially since uh, my past two toy haul videos have been from Movie Trading Company but not only have some of them been Movie Trading Company it's just other um, areas in town locally local stores should I say so without further ado let's go ahead and get started so the first two videos are not videos but figures uh, are going to be on card and I picked these up at my one of my favorite stores Freaks and Geeks that's here on town that's like not even probably a mile away from where I'm at so it's a local owned store and it's a staple in, in our community here. So I'm very proud to be affiliated with this store, Freaks and Geeks. And, you know, I've picked up several things from, from this uh, store. And <clears throat> it's very, um, very nostalgic for me, should I say. Uh, it mainly revolves around video games, but they do sell toys on card and loose. But their main drive is like video games and they have uh, a lot of gaming tournaments there as well. And they had just moved into a bigger location recently. And let me tell you, it's an amazing place. It's got arcades, arcade games there that you can play. Uh, it's, got, it's, got, it's got everything. So if you're ever in town, if you're ever in Denton, Texas, stop by Freaks and Geeks. You know, it's an amazing new place that's been around for a while. But the new location is even bigger, and they expanded uh, uh, their store as well, and it's just, it's incredible. I can't wait to go back there again. But anyways, so these are my two items that I picked up recently from them. It is the Mars Attacks uh, Martian Spy Girl with a free ray, freeze ray blaster, and this is based off the uh, Mars Attacks uh, movie, and this is... Produced by one of my favorite uh, toy companies that is sadly no longer around, Trend Masters. And I talk about Trend Masters a lot as I think they're one of the very most underrated toy companies out there that was around in the 90s. And um, <clears throat> they made a lot of a lot of great stuff. They were behind, they were one of the first toy companies uh, that produced Godzilla toys. Uh, they did the Independence Day toys. Mars Attacks, uh, they did Tarzan toys, they also did the uh, Iron Giants and, and stuff like that. So it's a great loss that we don't have them around, but uh, it's my first uh, Mars Attacks figure. I'm looking to collect the, the moving line. I know there's another uh, Mars Attacks toy line that's, uh, that's produced by them as well, but that's like its own separate uh, uh, line that's not based on the movie. <clears throat> so... I'll probably get those as well. There's not very many of them, but uh, it's fairly easy to collect, you know, but it can be pricey sometimes. And then next, I got this uh, Spawn. The uh, uh, This is the Series 1 um, Spawn that McFarlane put out. It's their first series, and i um, very fortunate to find this at a reasonable price, so I had to snag it. So it's a, it's a great figure, you know, to, to add to my Spawn collection. And those who know, know that I love Spawn, and I collect a lot of Spawn memorabilia as far as figures go. And uh, so, very happy to have this to my collection. Next up, I uh, picked up a uh, Bucky O'Hare figure. And this is the Berserker Baboon. And, or, yeah, Berserker Baboon. And um, it is complete. And I'm very proud to, to finally add him to my Bucky O'Hare collection. If you had watched my last toy uh, haul, I had a, uh, a graded and mint on card um, Bucky O'Hare figure. So that is the staple of that collection. So I did pick this up in downtown Denton. And they have uh, the square. And they have different shops in that area. And one of the places I always, well, I hadn't been there in uh, such a long time. I thought I'd stop by in there. And it is the downtown mini mall 2. And um, <clears throat> that is more like a antique store, and it does have a lot of antiques, 
But they also have a lot of vintage figures there. <clears throat> they had like He Man. Um, they had Bucky O'Hare, but this is the only one. Uh, and, um, you know, just a lot of odds and ends and stuff. But mainly they had a lot of He Man there. So I will be going back and getting those He Man figures, you know. They're at a pretty reasonable price, you know. They had some vehicles for five to ten bucks a piece. And, um, uh, it's got playwear, yes, and the stickers are kind of fading, but hey, they're older toys. You know, not everybody was able to keep their stuff in mint condition, you know. But very fortunate to, to get this guy. I think he was like four bucks, I think. Fairly cheap. And like I said, he is complete. And um, very happy to, to have him, you know. So, yep. Got another vintage toy hole. Black hole, <laughs> Bucky O'Hare. Next up is another pickup that I got from Movie Trading Company. This is going to be some of them, or like I would say half of them are from Movie Trading Company. <laughs> so I did was able to find me a, a Spider Man, a Toy Biz Spider Man to add to my uh, Marvel X Men X Force Toy Biz collection. So very happy to to have this. Um, don't know what kind of action figure, fe fig uh, feature, should I say, for this, so, it's, probably doesn't work like it would have some odd 20 years ago, 30 years ago, so I think this came out like in 92 or 94 or something like that, let's see, it came out, yep, 1992, so... So, yeah, very happy to have this to my collection. I finally got me a uh, Toy Biz Spider-Man to go with uh, all my others. So, very happy to have that. And next up from uh, Movie Trading Company, I did pick up some more turtles. Something tells me that I had already showed off uh, Toka and Razar. And uh, in my last video, I probably did, but... If you hadn't seen the last video, you get to see them again in this one. So yeah, these I got these all all these guys fairly cheap for like three to four dollars a piece, and especially the, these turtles. I didn't have any turtles, so I just I saw them and they came with their accessories. They came with more accessories than these, but these are just the main weapons, you know. I wanted to display them with, and uh, I'm looking for a belt for Raphael. So and an extra sigh. He did come with all the other accessories, but missing one side and his belt. And I do have a Leo, and he is complete too as well. So the only thing I'm missing is Donnie. And I think they did have a Donnie, but for some reason. And uh, it might, don't know if it was a soft head turtle, but <clears throat> they wanted like $10 for him. So that was more than I wanted to pay for but if I'm one on one, I might as well have to get it. You know, that's about the only Donnie I can find. That um, he, he, they were complete. They had all the accessories. He was missing his belt, so I have to go look for a belt too if I pick him up eventually. So, but I was able to get me a Bebop to go with my Rocksteady, and I got one of my favorite turtle uh, figures in the background, Mondo Gecko. Very happy to have him because I used to have him as a kid. So I finally got him back into my collection. So, my turtle collection is slowly, surely, but growing. You know, I started late. It was just one of those things where I was looking at my collection. I was like, shit, I don't have any turtles at all, except for the two Carter ones that I had originally. But that was it. I didn't have any vintage turtles to show or anything. So, finally, I'm able to slowly but surely get these uh, vintage turtles into my collection now. Next up is also from a movie trading company, and uh, found this one at the one at the location near my job, and uh, this is the Lost World Jurassic Park, Nick Van Owen in the High Tide. So this is the High Tide uh, um, assortment. It is missing some pieces, so I will have to get on eBay to track down the rest of them, as I pretty much got the main pieces. So I've got the fence and stuff that goes that connects to these pegs on, on here. And, um, <clears throat> you're right here. Sorry. I don't know why I was trying to show y'all that like the way it was originally. 
So, but yeah, these fences, they all clip into these pegs and stuff. And um, here is the rocket launcher that goes with it. And um, so I think it either goes like this or like this or something. But I, he's also missing the missile. So <clears throat> we'll have to hunt the rest of the pieces down. But I got the, the main pieces that are needed for this play set. And here is Nick Van Owen. So, very good figure. I, I already have one of these, but this is a better conditioned one. <laughs> so, I guess you can say it's an upgrade from the one I previously had. Next up is also from a uh, movie trading company. I was so surprised to finally, this, I actually surprised to finally get one, but to see one at a uh, movie trading company here in town. And this is the uh, um, Dino Riders uh, Kentrosaurus. I think that's how you pronounce it, Kentros Ken Kentrosaurus, something like that. But anyways, no, it's a, it's a great dinosaur. It didn't come with any of the uh, the accessories or figures or anything like this. But I mainly just collect the line just for the dinosaurs itself because they're cheaper that way. And the accessories, they come and go. So it's not like I'm really too concerned about not finding anything. But this is a great piece right here. I love this thing. And it goes well with the uh, Jurassic Park dinosaurs. And very, we're very, and this came out like in 88 or 89, you know. I think this is probably Series 2, if I'm not mistaken. And the plastic held up all this, the rubbery, the rubber is all still intact. You know, these, this was just very, the quality that Tyco did for the Dino Riders line and Cadillacs and Dinosaurs toy line, which is the same thing that they used um, for that line. Um, dinosaurs that they did for that line, they just reused the Dino Rider ones. So, but anyways, but yeah, I mean, this is quality right here. Not today's standards where dinosaurs or whatever toys, they just fall apart and, and just uh, rip and all that stuff. But this is a quality toy. Can't beat the 80s and 90s when it comes to quality toys, you know. <clears throat> Alright, moving on. Alright, last but not least from the movie trading company pickup. I have picked up some more small soldiers that were made by Kenner Hasbro back in 1997, 98 I think. And uh, I already have some. I showed you all some of them in my, one of my hauls. And uh, was able to find more, so slowly but surely finding them out there in the wild, especially a movie trading company. That's pretty much where I got all mine. So basically, my whole collection from for small soldiers is from movie trading company. Man, I do need to find out who the seller is so I can just go to the house and say, "Hey, let me buy this shit off of you," because <laughs> it's got to be from the same person. Because man, you wouldn't believe all the stuff that I picked up from there from. Small Soldiers, Jurassic Park, it has to be from the same seller, because whenever I find it, I always ask about it, say, oh yeah, this all came in uh, from one person, I was like, shit, let me, let me, let me find this person, <laughs> so I can rate their collection if they're trying to get rid of it, but anyway, so yes, I was able to finally uh, um, uh, get some more, uh, this is Slam Fist, he is complete, um, this is, a, I think, uh, I can't remember, is it Frankenstein, Frankenstein, I just can't remember, Dr. something, I think that's, I think that's his name, but it's only fitting because of how he's put together, um, he is almost complete, he's missing his shield that he comes with, um, very fortunate to have this because a, a lot of times when you find these out in the wild, they're missing the club, and so, very happy to have this thing. And it's very, it still works. The uh, gimmick still works. And so, I was able to pick him up for like eight bucks, I think. Like seven dollars. So, yeah, it was, it's crazy when I saw them. Me and my friend Daryl, you know, who I'll talk about here in a few minutes, who was at a movie training company, and I saw this and I was like, oh shit, this is from Small Soldiers. He looked at it and goes, yep. So, I couldn't believe it. Especially with this thing still intact, because like I said, normally these don't come with uh, the ones that you would see on eBay and stuff. 
So I'm only missing his second accessory so I complete him. But the centerpiece of this is this uh, glorious piece right here. This is, I didn't realize what it well, I knew what it was, but I wasn't thinking about what exactly what it was. So this is the 12 inch talking chip hazard, you know, because I know um, they did make another doll um, uh, that had like uh, soft goods on it, I think. But anyways, um, this is the talking one. And boy, was I surprised of which version I got. And if you don't recognize that voice, that is Tommy Lee Jones. And that's the one that was first released, but was pulled from shells. Sorry about the shaking cam. But yeah, he was pulled from shells because I think because of that last uh, uh, phrase, all Gorkonites must die. I think parents were outraged by that and they pulled the shells and pulled it from the shells. And they had to uh, put out another one with a different voice. So, but I was shocked as shit that when I picked that up, it was uh, <clears throat> it was his voice. I was expecting that at all. And he's not complete as well. He's missing his gun. And so that's going to be a very hard piece to find. So hopefully one day I'll be able to find it. All right, this next set of uh, figures I'm going to show you. Is from a lot that I trade with my best friend Daryl, who I know I mention throughout my videos when it comes to my toy hauls and things that I pick up from him. Um, uh, long story short, he is a childhood friend of mine. We grew up together and um, we still talk to each other and we, uh, on a regular basis. You know, he's my brother, he's my best friend, and um, most of my collection is. Uh, from him and most of it is like from his childhood and things that he has collected over the years that um, him and my other good friend Tommy all three of us we would just trade and swap throughout the years and stuff and you know pretty much everything all came back to me <clears throat> from what they traded from each other and then what I trade from him it all cycled back to me you know and that's what makes so special was because uh, we all kept uh, our collection intact whether he be having it or Tommy be having it or me but anyways that's beside the point the point is the guy knows my collection he knows what I have and he knows what I need and so he'll go out um, sometimes some things just happen to fall into his lap because he's real good about that he knows how to toy hunt he knows how to get deals he knows how to get bargains and he knows how to get his hustle along trust me and uh, so this next batch of toys is through him. He knew what I needed and knew what I wanted. And so he was able to work a deal for me. And um, we made some swaps and stuff and things that I've had and uh, things that he needed for his collection. And so now I got stuff, some more things to add to my collection that I needed and wanted. So <clears throat> the first batch, should I say, is this is a bag of G.I. Joe vehicles accessories. And these are accessories that I need to somewhat complete my G.I. Joe Snowcat vehicle and my G.I. Joe Killer Whale. I've got two of them. And um, also, I think there's a missile here that I need to replace for my, um, what is it, what do I have? That airplane that I have, I can't, Conquest uh, X-30, yes. So, this bag of accessories, whew, man. And on top of that, he messaged me and said, hey, bro, you need this lot. And it's a lot for a uh, um, some more killer whale parts. And, and it was like cheap. It was like dirt cheap. And it wasn't for an auction or anything. I don't remember exactly what it was, but he said, look, I got it for you. You owe me one. So, <laughs> I do. So... Uh, but yeah, so I'm excited to get that lot of uh, parts. But uh, but yeah, so this is a yeah. This, here's the missile that I need to replace one of them that's just colored. And so this is what I've been waiting for as well. So also, 
Uh, what else did I get from her? Let's see. I'll just not pause the video and quit like I did. But uh, I got me a Rock Lord. This is complete. I don't know which character this is, but this is my first Rock Lord that I have in my collection. So I'm super excited to have this. I do have a different gun to, that goes to a Rock Lord, so I need to do some research to find out who it goes to so I can pick that figure up. So I can be able to uh, add some more Rock Lords to my collection. And this, this one's kind of fragile. Um, this is from 1984, and it's kind of like a, a bootleg or a knockoff Transformer toy line. Uh, they're rather expensive online. I looked them up, and I think this is going to be the, probably the only one that I will have in my collection. Because on card, these go for like $80 or more. And lose shit. I mean, 30, 40 bucks, you know, incomplete. This guy's incomplete. I don't have his gun or anything. But this is uh, one of the insectors from um, the, uh, I can't even pronounce that. I can't even remember the, the name. Uh, starts with a C. Uh, let's see. Conv oh, the con convert Convertors lot toy line. Convertors. Convertors. Converters. Or <laughs> something like that. But, um, yes, this is an insector from the Convertors uh toy line and um like i said it's very fragile you can tell just by by the look of it the plastic and the weight of it, it's very light so you got to be kind of careful and you can tell this is kind of a a knockoff and this came out in 1984 and it still looks great you know very happy to have this it's something totally different that uh, i knew existed but um it's not something that i really thought about until now so very happy to have something to add to my collection that I've never had before that is vintage and then it's an 80s toys. I don't have a whole lot of 80s because most of my collection is built up from around the 90s. But I do have a few uh, 80s toys and when I do get 80s toys they're something special for me because one, it's stuff that I used to have back in the day or stuff that I used to grow up around and that my friends used to play all the time, things like that. So just to have this piece that came from 1984 is, is something special to me. Let's just set this guy aside. And next I have my first ever Beetlejuice. This is like the uh, Sish Kebab Beetlejuice. He is missing like three more of these uh, Sish Kebab things. So very excited to have this. So it's my first Beetlejuice in my collection. This is a 90s toy or 80s toy as well. So I think this came out in 89. So very happy to have this Beetlejuice. Looking to add more to the collection. And because it's Kenner, you know. Anybody knows me, I'm a Kenner man. So there you go. Um, I did, uh, he, this did come with another bag of accessories. Um, I'm not going to show the accessories because of the simple fact that, um, they're just random stuff for like random toys, random parts, you know, there's nothing exciting. But I did want to show this off. This is very cool. And um, I will use this on somebody. And um, I do have something in mind for it. Next, uh, excuse me. Next, uh, that's part of the trade. I got this, uh, well, this is my favorite Dragon Ball Z villain. And uh, Cell, I love this guy. You know, even though he may not be as uh, strong as Frieza or Majin Buu or some of the other characters, but just the Cell Saga part of Dragon Ball Z, that's my favorite uh, uh, saga. And so, I uh, really love that saga. I don't know why, it's just something about it. It's just so epic, you know. <clears throat> and uh, I got me a, my first Dragon Ball Z figure, Cell and Cell Jr., and very excited to add these. Um, will I be uh, going down the black hole with these? Probably not. If anything, I just want the main characters from Dragon Ball Z. And that's it. I, I don't want to add all the side characters and all that stuff. Just want to get, since i got a cell, I wouldn't mind having a, a Frieza, uh, a Majin Buu, you know, and Goku and Vegeta. You know, all, all the main guys, you know, Gohan and things like that. So... Up next, that was part of the trade. I finally got me 
a set of the Crimson Twins, Zemont and uh, Xmont. No, Tomex and Zemont. I said Xmont. I think that's how I used to pronounce it back in the day. But uh, yeah, Tomex and Zemont. And so I'm very excited to have the original vintage ones. Uh, the ones I've been after for a long time. Uh, he finally got a set and I was able to get this part of our trade. So very happy to finally add these to my G.I. Joe collection. So, I mean, can't go wrong with the Crimson Guards or the Crimson Twins, whatever you want to call them, give or take, you know. Uh, either way, they're the same people. So, uh, I love their backstory. Great backstory on them. So, uh, yeah, I'm able to add these to my Vintage Joe collection. And up next, as part of the trade, is this is a grill of mine. I've always wanted this uh, refrigerator uh, Perry figure, this Mellowway figure. I think it was a Mellowway figure. And um, I love this figure, you know. And I'm um, very happy to, to finally have one into my collection. And um, all I need now is to find, I know it didn't come with one, but um, I do need to see if I can get a hold of a, uh, a Kenner uh, starting lineup football um, Chicago Bears helmet. So if I can get like a Chicago Bears helmet, because I think it's just the right size for his head. And I'm not going to put it on him. I'll, no, I'm just going to have it displayed in his arm or something. Because I think it would be real cool to have the Chicago Bears uh, helmet to go along with it. Even though it didn't come with one, it's not a part of the the, the G.I. Joe thing. Or uh, Mellow Way, should I say. But uh, it'd be cool to find one to add one to. To have him hold in his hand or something like that. It's just playing with. And last but not least, the, the uh, centerpiece of this trade is this uh, Playmates uh, Star Trek uh, package. Um, it's kind of like a cardboard plate set. And um, I love how they was able to set it up. Um, his brother-in-law gave this to him and uh, my friend gave it to my friend Daryl. And um, Daryl, he's not a Star Trek fan like I am. So he just wanted to get rid of it. He said, you could have it. I don't want it. You're missing two characters, so you'll probably have to go and find them. Um, as you can tell, this, these have been opened, worn, and stuff. So, uh, these two are the, like, the only ones that weren't taken out. Spock and Zulu. Um, they, were, they were the only ones that were, haven't been taken out of the package. So, I'm just missing two other ones. And at the bottom of this base, that has all the accessories and weapons. So, um, I do want to keep this. Um, it was pretty filthy when I received it, so I was able to, <coughs> excuse me, I was able to uh, do a touch-up job on it and to wipe it down some as best I could. And um, so, yeah, um, I do want to find the other two figures. Uh, will I be having these out of the car, uh, package? Probably not. Um, I'll probably just uh, find some way to, like, glue it there or something like that. I'm not sure yet, but... Um, if I do remove it, I, I got to do it carefully because I don't want to uh, strip any more of the, the cardboard off any more than it needs to. Um, if I do, I'll probably just use an X-Acto knife to cut away from the plastic, you know, just to try to make sure I keep as much of the the uh, cardboard on there as much as I can. But uh, um, it, it's a great piece, you know, I'm very happy to have it because it will probably be the centerpiece of my Star Trek collection. As I do got a lot of them, quite a bit of them. And so, um, but yeah, so, yeah, that's the centerpiece of this trade. So that's going to be my haul portion and my trade portion of this video. And uh, just want to thank everybody for watching this video. I had fun making it and hope you all enjoyed watching it. And uh, if you're new to this channel, please uh, give this channel a like and a sub, or a video, a like, and the channel a sub. <laughs> if you haven't already, just click the notification bell so you can receive all my videos as I upload them. And where's the wisdom? Buy what you love and know what you like, because if you buy what you like, you will always end up getting rid of it. And I'll catch you all later.